Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa Carlolienthal, and this is... Ivy Dermont, and this is my rabbit, Cassie. And we're going to demonstrate for you how to trim your rabbit's toenails. There's several different types of toenail clippers that you can purchase um, to use to trim rabbit's toenails. There's ones like this that are like a guillotine that trim it off, or you can use like cat toenail clippers that are like this to trim it, or if you have a small rabbit, you can even use human toenail clippers. When you're trimming your rabbit's toenails, you want to be really careful not to trim the quick because that's where the blood vessel is. And if you trim too short, it'll cause bleeding. You want to trim about an eighth of an inch um, past the end of the quick to prevent bleeding, or you can cut off small amounts um, several times to make sure you get, don't get too close to the edge. And so now we're going to demonstrate for you how you would trim a rabbit's toenail. What you want to do is make sure you trim um, in front of the quick so if you look at the back of the toenail, you can kind of see where the quick starts, where it's thicker down here, or you can trim small amounts off the end. And you want to be really careful not to cause any bleeding in the rabbit. If you do cut the um, blood vessel and cause bleeding, you can use a styptic powder, which you can buy at the pet store, or you can use something like flour to put over the end to stop the bleeding. So we'll move to the second foot and trim it. One other way to know when to stop is if about half of the toenail is the dark colored of the top and half is the lighter color underneath. That's a good point to stop when clipping the toenail. Okay, now we're going to rotate the rabbit around so that we can reach the front legs. This rabbit is really cooperative with nail trimming. If you have one where you have problems with them sitting still, you can wrap them up in a towel like a burrito and um, just pull out the leg that you're going to clip with. If they struggle a lot, you want to be careful because you don't want to risk injuring the rabbit while they're struggling with nail clipping. And this is something that is best done in pairs, but if you have to do it yourself, you can sit down in a chair and have your rabbit in your lap and do it that way if you have a really calm rabbit. But it's often best if you can get someone to hold the rabbit for you while you clip their nails.